Hello again, Andy with HandyAndyHome.com and welcome back to yet another one of our videos. Um, here today we are out in the Duluth Norcross area and we're looking at some repairs for a homeowner here. Um, this one is actually a rental property and this owner has been really conscientious in terms of a landlord what he's doing with this house. He's got a newer roof on here. He's got drip guard that he's put around the edges. He's just got this new gutter uh, system that he's put up here. We won't name the company because they'll probably sue me with some of the things I'm going to say. Um, so we're going to cover a bunch of things here today. These infomercial kind of a thing are, are tutorial for homeowners like yourself who may be viewing this or the actual owner to be able to see when they see our bid what we were proposing and why. And so there's a whole bunch of things we're going to talk about here very quickly today. Um, this owner has, uh, an, it's actually an LP type siding. It, it may be masonite. I haven't pulled the back to see what it is, but it's a manufactured siding. He's tried to keep up on it. Most of it's in, in reasonably decent shape where he can come back in here and just um, hand paint some of it to save it. Otherwise, he's going to be looking at replacement. He's come in and you can see the bottom edge right here is a hardy plank board. Uh, the bottom two, actually, you can see the difference in the, what we call the beading. And this is this piece right here. As you look at the edge, this is, is, isn't as pronounced as the manufacturer siding. And what's happened here is from splashing and uh, poor caulking in this area, and people banging against it. This siding is all rotted all the way through here. So he basically needs to replace from here all the way up um, beyond this light. You can see this board right here actually has ants in it. And if you look up above here, it's all rotted at the flashing because it was never caulked right in this area. So the trick with this kind of siding is you got to replace a row. You can't piece it in. People try to do it. It's a different thickness and you really just need to replace the whole row. So on this one, he's looking at replacing between the two garage doors and then he's going to need to replace one, two, three, four, uh, four rows up to this window right here. The rest of it, the peeling you see, it's just starting to delaminate. If he can scrape back the bottom edge of that, that paint, this house was never hand painted, it was spray painted. Um, although down here in this area, someone did hand paint parts of the house, so it's probably why the siding is held up. He's done a combination of spraying and hand painting, and so they were able to get uh, some coverage on the bottom edges. But you can kind of see where the caulk has failed around the window. And you see the lines of delamination in the siding. He can still salvage most of this siding. He's got a few places around the house where he's not going to be able to do that. Uh, and it's interesting, we'll show you a few things. Whoever came in here and worked for him before at one point, they did it right. You can see how they made the angle cuts here that I always talk about. But what's happening is the caulk is failing behind it. And so you've got ants in this area here. Uh, in the corner, he's got an HVAC line that's draining here. It's just a continual drip. This tenant's got the HVAC cranked all the way down, so much so the windows are iced inside. Uh, so it's really cold in here, and so you've got your um, your discharge line is out here, and the problem with this is the water, part of it is splashing forward, part of it is splashing against the siding. The sun never gets in this area, it's got a lot of mold and rot in this area, so you really need to go ahead and replace these bottom rows, these bottom two rows of siding, and then extend this HVAC line up against the house and get it in these bushes, and at least get it away from the house. Um, he came in and put this new gutter system up in here. Um, and, and it works to an extent. The negative with this system is that what will happen, and we've got other videos on this, is you see this concave edge that comes across here, and that's what it does is it, it's designed so that water will shoot debris off the roof, so it doesn't, you know, the, the design is that it doesn't go inside the gutter, but what they don't tell you is that over a little bit of time, usually the first season, second season, every year you got to come out here and wipe that edge once a year to uh, kill the mold and mildew that will accumulate and build up on that edge. Once that edge is covered with mold or algae, it renders the gutter useless, absolutely useless. So very expensive system. It, it works to an extent, and he probably did it because he's got a lot of pine trees, and he's hoping to not have to clean these gutters so much. And that's how companies sell these systems. We don't sell them because they they really don't work, um, not at least not the way they're advertised. Nothing is maintenance free. So that's the maintenance kicker with this thing. The other issue with this gutter system is that you see where it hits the corner of the house. You need to have kick out flashing between that corner and the gutter. And the way this system is closed with that cover. You can't have kick-out flashing, so they may have sealed the top edge with some sort of a sealant. We'll know that when we get on the ladders, but if they don't do that, the water's been getting against this uh, manufactured siding, and it's going to cause the rot that we're going to see on the back edge in a minute. On the front of the house right here, I don't want to make too much noise because the tenants are still asleep, and um, right at this window right here, you're going to see below here, if I can get it in there, the camera's not going to catch it, but you can kind of see underneath that, that window right there. That bottom two, the bottom two rows all the way across are rotted, so you really need to replace those. We'll go around the right side. And over here, the siding is actually in, in pretty decent shape still from what I can see. The only issue is that it, the, the paint is, is peeling off. 
they didn't use a good quality paint I'm not sure what they used just a little bit of caulking if he can caulk these nail holes right here seal them this isn't delaminating siding this is paint that's just peeling off and I don't want to do too much of it you can see the siding is tight that bottom edge is tight so really what has to happen on the right side if you want to save this siding you got to scrape these bottom edges and go ahead and hand repaint this area right here just the right side of the house not a big deal you can do this project in stages <coughs> excuse me or whatever you want to do now on the right side which is why he called me out here this is the rear of the garage and they had so much rotted siding in this area over here that that's why the owner called us out here so the the back of the garage is good i can't get the camera in here very well but this area right in here this little four foot section there was no kick out flashing where the old gutter was and kick out flashing is cut into the siding and sealed on both edges and it diverts the water back into the gutter with this closed system and we'll show it to you here in a second because they've left it to be installed this would be that side that goes up against the gutter and you can see how it's it's sealed here so what ends up happening is there's no way to add kick out um, to this and you can see the hidden anger screws that are built in uh, sort of through here so they'll screw those into this fascia board <coughs> and excuse me for what it is it's one of the better systems if you're going to put this on your house but it doesn't quite work as designed and what's going to happen is these pine needles this area stays shaded that edge of that gutter is going to get mold and mildew across it and you're just going to have to wipe it down everything requires maintenance that's the maintenance for that system if you go ahead and do that every year and you remember to do that once a year system works pretty well that's all i can tell you about it but in here we're going to have to replace I think 16 rows of siding from the top of this roof down to the bottom. The back side of the house is in pretty decent shape. You can actually see where they've come in here. This is the rear door to the garage, or next to the garage. The bottom two rows have been re uh, replaced with hardy plank. We need to come back in and replace just a little bit more. We can't catch it all, but there's one piece here above that. These two rows directly above it to the left of this door need to be replaced. The bottom bottom row at the HVAC has been replaced but the next one two three four rows up from here to the rear deck door need to be swapped out they're rotted as well and you had somebody come through here and put drip guard drip edge you'll see that metal edge that goes all the way up the roof all the way around it's a great product because what happens is capillary action draws back about two percent of the water it comes off those shingles and would suck it back to your either your fascia board or the decking so it's great to have this up here because it'll kick that water back out into the gutter or it'll kick it out to the rear yard. And up here, you're not going to see it real well, but in that rear peak above the rear door, it needs to be adjusted because the way it's sitting right now, it's not set right. So it's going to actually draw the water back in and rot out that fascia, which is not what you want. And at the rear deck, and again, these are all typical repairs. He's had some good work done here. I'll show you on the chimney. He had some siding done here, but you can see the condition of this manufactured siding between that rear door the HVAC and this rear entry door so he's got these bottom four rows right here shot they need to be replaced and this is smooth and beaded sided and we'll replace that with a hardy plank which is a manufactured concrete aggregate siding best product on the market um, there's nothing inherently defective with the siding that he has and he'll, if he'll come back here and gradually chip away at repainting this stuff maybe do one side a year he'll save the rest of this siding down here on the door this is exactly what you don't do and we'll show you the repair a little bit closer. They didn't even have the brick mold, so they just came in here with a piece of deck, two by two, cut it and slapped it in there, slapped a piece of hinged wood above, right up there. Uh, and so we'll actually go ahead, this stuff just makes me sick. It's the wrong cut here, it's a horizontal cut on this right side frame. So what they actually did is they took a molded one piece frame and they just slapped that in there like that. So you can kind of see what it is. And what we started doing on stuff like this is, just go ahead and fix it and not not charge him to do it he's already paid once or twice to do this so we'll do it right the, this next time here so that's at the rear entry door of the deck and then down here on the on the right rear corner the rear corner board is completely rotted and so you'll see your finger can go right through that whole thing is gone so we'll replace that quarter board in there and we'll piece it in about a two foot section and then the bottom three rows of siding here at this right rear deck area will also need to be replaced but overall, he stayed in pretty good shape on this house by staying on top of the maintenance. He probably sets a budget every year and comes in. He's redone this chimney. So the chimney's already redone with hardy plank. They did a really nice job with it, whoever did this work. And you can see somewhere in here, they got an angle cut. The caulk has failed. They didn't use a good quality caulk, and the board split on this end. But in terms of cuts, it just needs to be re-caulked. 
in terms of cuts, you see the horizontal, the angled cut, any water gets behind here is going to shed to the front, and that's exactly what you want. So really nice work there. This bottom, this isn't a little alcove on the left side of the house. The bottom two rows need to be replaced. You can see this right here. It's rotted through. I can put my hand right through it. Same thing where these cables are. These bottom two rows need to go ahead and replace those, and the chimney's already done. So that's about where we are in terms of the maintenance of, of this particular property. There's one more section above this front gutter over here that we'll show you in a second. And we'll be able to zoom in. And he's going to have the same issue there with without kick out flashing in that corner, you're going to have continued rot. So they're going to have to put some sort of a, there's a elastomeric sealant that we use called through the roof. And if they'll seal that edge where it hits the siding and check it every few years, it'll be okay. There's no way to add kick out flashing to this gutter system. So that's one of the negatives to the system especially with manufactured siding because any water that gets between the siding and that gutter edge is just going to rot the siding out and it's already rotted out. Um, so this bottom row here across this front section at the second story and then the bottom two rows up against that gutter. So this gutter actually needs to come down and go ahead and, and replace those pieces of siding in there. They're rotted through. So if he's able to do all that work, he'll have this house in pretty good shape. Um, we love to partner with homeowners and investors in terms of repairing properties like this. And then we go ahead and shoot these videos so you can get a pretty good idea of what we're talking about in terms of repairs. Um, this particular owner has really tried to stay up on his stuff, and hopefully he can partner with Handy Andy to get the rest of it done. Any questions you have, we excel at all things home repair, improvement, maintenance. Uh, we do all those handyman type stuff. Our work is always guaranteed. Our siding work is guaranteed for lifetime. Fully transferable lifetime warranty on Hardy Plank siding. So it's transferable. Uh, Hardy Plank is meant to be around forever, so if we've done it wrong, It'll show up pretty quick. You can reach us at 770-912-2829 or handyandyhome at aol.com or find us online at handyandyhome.com. Take care, and we'll see you at the next house. Bye for now.